Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 5439 Beechnut Street. That's 5439 Beechnut Street over in the Braze View Terrace area. It's a really nice older established community. This is a three bedroom, two bath home, single story with a detached two car garage. It is approximately 1,953 square feet. It was built in 1958 has the definite architecture of a home built in the late 50s, early 60s with a sloping roof line. It sits on a really large lot. The lot is over 12,500 square feet. You have ample parking on the side here, as you can see. The exterior of this home is all brick. There is some wood siding around the roof fascia and soffit, and the detached two-car garage does have um, wood shake siding. As you can see, there's a lot of parking available. Now the detached garage is going to need some work. There is a little bit of wood rot right underneath the roof ridge as you can see there and the garage doors are probably going to need to be replaced. But the exterior of the home is four sides brick so you have a really well structured uh, property. It was built to last. Beach Nut is one of the thoroughfares that kind of ties the west side of Houston into the center. You're just west of the Medical Center. As you can see, this roof ridge here is going to need some painting. I think you could probably scrape some of the flaking painting off and repaint it, and it's not that big of a deal. You have a really good sized lot. As I said, four sides brick. We come over to the right side of the home over here, and you can see the the brick is in really good condition. Maybe just needs a little power washing, and you're pretty much done. It has a little garden area up front, and a neat covered porch here. As we come around the corner here to the entryway, uh, one kind of a neat thing, if you look at the light here, it's definitely indicative of something in the late 50s. So let's take a look at the backyard. Well, as we step into the backyard, we have two older, oversized French uh, sliding glass doors. You step out onto this little private enclosed patio here. We then come back into the oversized lot. As I said, it's over 12,500 square feet. And it's a really nice size yard. It's pretty well maintained. We have your detached garage here that is a wood shingled garage. There is some evidence of some wood rot or some repair that you're going to need to do there, so you may want to consider maybe coming back with hardy plank, a more durable siding. We'll step through the gate here and see the inside of the garage. Pretty standard two-car garage. It's been finished out. Some of the sheetrock is a little damaged at the back of the garage, as you'll see here, so you may want to patch or repair that sheetrock. And you're probably going to want to replace the large two-car garage door. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, as we step inside, the entryway does have ceramic tile, which is nice. I think you could probably salvage that. has a neat uh, late 50s-style uh, kind of a chandelier there, if you, if you will. Now, when we turn to the left here, we have a big formal living area. It's going to need a fresh coat of paint. It's going to need some flooring. It has this large, oversized picture window here kind of stylistic of the late 50s. And then we come through this opening here to a formal dining. Formal dining has a big mirror there that kind of makes the room seem a little bit larger. You also have this nice window that gives you some natural ambient lighting into your formal dining. And then the formal dining does have a pass into the kitchen. We're gonna come back that way though. We're gonna pretend as if we came in from the front door. So we make our way through your formal dining. There's another mirror to the right of the door that kind of makes the home feel a little bit larger. Now we could go straight into your living room, but I want to show you two of the be the bedrooms are to the right side here. So, um, well, we go straight into your family room. Family room is going to need a fresh coat of paint. It is going to need some flooring. And there's a little bit of evidence of maybe a roof or a shingle leak. So you want to get that investigated and get the roof looked at. The roof actually looks like it's not very old, but there is some evidence of some either prior water leaks or current water leaks. We make our way into the kitchen. The kitchen does have ceramic tile and a really good size kitchen cabinetry. Pan over, we have your breakfast area. So you could put a small table here, have most of your dining take place here. And then we make a pass through into your laundry room. Your washer and dryer connections are in here. There currently is a washer and dryer. Uh, if they're there when you close in the home, then it's yours. If it disappears between now and closing, that sometimes happens. 
So you have a water heater. Above the water heater, there is a little bit of sealing damage. You're going to want to investigate that, patch it, and paint it, and you probably won't even know that that's a problem. Now we make our way back through the kitchen, and you can see here's the passage into your formal dining room, right off of the main living area. And then we make our way to the back, to the uh, right side of the home where the bedrooms are. At the rear of the home, we have your master bedroom, bedroom number one, and your master bath. As you can see, they do have tinted mirrors in the master bedroom to make it feel a little bit larger. We come around to the master bathroom and the master bathroom is a shower only. And as you can see, it's kind of stylistic of the late 50s, early 60s. It's a standalone shower only, a mounted gas heater and a single vanity with a green sink that is pretty common to that era. You have some storage cabinets here. The bathroom is going to need a fresh coat of paint. I think you can probably salvage the flooring. And here's a peek inside the shower. Probably needs a good cleaning, but I think it's salvageable. You could always redo it if you want, but I don't think that it really needs it. Master, bath, master bedroom is going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring, definitely. Now down the hallway here to the left of the master, we have full bathroom number two, which is a shower and tub combo and a single vanity. I think you can probably salvage all of the tile in here. I would suggest giving it a fresh coat of paint. Get rid of that uh, wallpaper. There is some storage in there too. Further down the hallway and to the left here, we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two is going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Pretty standard bedroom. Now there is evidence of a little bit of another roof leak here you want to get that looked at, have that roof inspected, maybe just a case of adjusting a few of the shingles. And then to the left of that we have bedroom number three, the last bedroom. Now this bedroom is also going to need a fresh coat of paint and going to need some flooring, but all in all in, in pretty decent condition. Pan around and around the vent it looks like there may be some moisture that you'll want to uh, have your HVAC guy in investigate. So down the hallway, and that's it. We're back up to the front, so that's about it. Well, there you have it, 5439 Beach Nut. That's 5439 Beach Nut, a really nice three-bedroom, two-bath home with a ton of potential. As you saw, this home has a lot of potential, and it's going to need some flooring and some painting, but other than that, I think it has a lot of charm and a lot of character. It's actually one of the best-priced homes in this area, and I don't believe that this home flooded either. This home is listed right now for only $330,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King, and I wanna help you find your castle.